Dear Rivermont family, um, during this season that we are currently walking, I'm aware that we need the Lord Jesus Christ to help us overcome relational stress and what some have called ministry fatigue. And of course, we need the compassion and care of Jesus Christ to help us do this. We long to hear Jesus say to us, well done, good and faithful servant, Matthew 25. And yet, in order for that to happen, we need him along the way. So when you feel stressed or overwhelmed, remember Jesus Christ and his grace. Um, and his grace includes his peace and his promises, his power, and the relational strength we have from his people. But today I want to just focus on peace. The scripture tells us, For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile himself to all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the cross. That's Colossians 1, 19 to 20. And then, of course, you remember from Philippians 4, to rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Let your reasonableness be known to everyone, for the Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. When walking with Christ and caring for others, it is good to preach the gospel to your own hearts every single day. Through his death on the cross, you are forgiven your sin and you're set free to live for him, to his people. Jesus gives his peace, which involves our peace with our Heavenly Father, there's reconciliation, peace with one another, that is unity, and even peace within ourselves, which is contentment. Faithfully, we do a few important things. We rejoice in the Lord always as we move our eyes from ourselves and our circumstances and, and on to Jesus Christ in his love. So we don't miss it. Paul stated this twice in Philippians chapter 4. Secondly, though, we remember that Jesus is near to us to motivate us in gentleness as we express his love and compassion to those around us. And, 30, and thirdly, excuse me, we replace our anxiety with prayer to the God who loves us. And as we do, he gives us his peace, which transcends all understanding. As we embrace the grace of Jesus Christ, we are secure in our Savior. We exclaim, we exclaim along with the Apostle Paul, for I am convinced that neither life nor death, nor angels, nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers Nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. And right when you think that's not possible, we remember this affirmation from Ephesians 3. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. Dear family, please join me in prayer. O oh, most gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the peace that we have with Jesus Christ because of what he has done for us on the cross. O oh, Father, please allow the Spirit to minister that grace to our hearts that we would be peace-loving with all those around us. In the name of Christ we pray. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you this day and forevermore. Amen.